Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's getting cold. We're in the holiday season. Not my best season <laughs> at all, <laughs> but we're in it. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope the seasons are doing well for you, even in 2020. Let's talk about knives. Today, the knife of the day, well, there are two knives. Actually, today, what I'm going to talk about are these two new knives from Spydeco. The Spydeco Endura with Bowler's K390 steel and the Spydeco Indela right here with K390 steel as well. You know, Spydeco... About six months or so, at the beginning of the year, they said one of the knives that they had on their first reveal, I believe, was this knife. <laughs> yeah, it was a K390 lady bug, or it was the man bug, I forget which one. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you... The complete collection, almost complete. We're still looking for one other knife, and we'll talk about that later, to complete the K390 series. But they did that, and I was like, why are they sending me just one ladybug or man bug? And then later, they introduced more knives, the Delica, the Dragonfly, and then, the past reveal, they introduced the Endura and, listen to this, I like this, the Indela. Of course, you guys remember the Indela. The Indela was introduced about a year, year and a half ago. After so many years with the Endura as the big Japanese knife, and then the Delica as the smaller knife, they introduced the knife that is truly in between the two, literally in between, and that's the Indela. And so they said they were gonna do the Indela, and the last piece of this series that hasn't arrived yet will be a Police 4 lightweight with K390 steel. I'm excited about that. Usually, what you'll see um, on these types of blade steel series from Spydeco, when it's the Japanese knives, you'll get the Endura, the Delica, usually the Stretch, and then you'll get the, you know, the other smaller knives. But I like that they introduced the Indela, and they're going to introduce a brand new Police 4. So let's talk about these knives, and then we'll bring in the entire series. Of course, the Indela has been around for a very long time. I have a couple of the super earlier versions of the Indela with the molded clip, <laughs> the FRN molded clip and all of that. It's been around a long time, and of course, is a Spydeco classic. But in the past, what you've seen with the Indela and the Delica from Japan is usually VG-10 steel. Well, not anymore. Yeah, it's not your grandfather's <laughs> Japanese knives anymore. Which we've started to see in the past year or two, a lot of new steels. A whole bunch. You name the steel, and it has been... On the Delica and the Endura, which is really nice. So it was good to see this series for the K390 steels. The Endura, one of the larger knives, not as large as the Police, but one of the larger knives. 3.7 inch knife, full flat ground blade. The cutting edge, 3.4 inches. You know, they call it lightweight. <laughs> now, 
because they've been introducing a lot of the FRN scales to the American made knives. Like the paramilitary two, actually it hasn't made it to the paramilitary two yet. Can you imagine all these lightweights and not the paramilitary two yet, but the para three, et cetera. Of course, the Japanese versions have had a lot of FRN scales. But again, 3.7 inch full flat ground blade, the total length, 8.7 inches. And we're talking about K390 steel. It is a super strong steel and it has really excellent, excellent edge retention to go along with that. Now the Indela, like I said, one of the newer knives introduced by Spydeco. You know, in the past two years or so, Spydeco has really introduced a lot of the uh, Made in America knives out of Denver. Most of them from that native, the native spinoffs, right? Boy, a lot of native spinoffs. The native chief, the little native, the shaman, and a lot of variations on that. Now we're seeing some introductions into the Japanese line and the Indela is the most recent and it's a great thing. You know, I usually tell people if they have enough money, I either say, let's look at the uh, inexpensive line of Spydeco's or let's look at a Delica Endora, depending on what size you like. Now we can include the Indela. Where the Endora is 3.7 inches, the Indela is 3.4 inches. Again, full flat ground blade. Where the Endora is 8.7 inches total, this is 8.1 inches. Right in the middle of the Endora and the Delica, and while the Endora is 3.7 ounces, this is 3.1 ounce. Of course, both of these knives have all the regular things that you've come to expect from the Japanese line of Spartaco knives. Lightweight, um, the backlock. Strong backlock, by the way, super strong backlock. I know a lot of people don't like backlocks because it's not as flippy and <laughs> not as smooth on videos as some of the other locks, but this is a super strong lock. Spydeco has been changing their backlocks for years, really concentrating on it. But you have the lanyard hole, you have the regular clip, and it's a four-way clip. I would like to see, yeah, I know I say it all the time. I would like to see the wire clip introduced on the Chinese knives. You'll see they have done it on the smaller knives. But again, we're talking about three ounces as a carry. And this clip, the standard clip, just doesn't seem to be in place with these knives. But... Again, this, having a standard clip helps keep the price down on the Japanese knives. Again, gives you a lot of flexibility in the kind of knives you like, and the prices are a lot less than the American-made knives. And I love the fact that I'm talking about this, and I've been talking about a lot of Delicas and Endures lately with all these different blade steels. I mean, that for me, and I just started collecting about four years ago, that's a huge change. Spydeco is shipping different steels, including American steels, to their factories in Japan, and I really like that. So today, the knife of the day featuring Bowler K390 steel on the Spydeco Endora, Endela, Delica, so you can see the new triplets in their line. 
the dragonfly. How about that? The man bug. And the little ladybug. The only thing is missing is the police four. And I can't wait to get it. The police four and bowler K390 will be coming soon. I'll share it with you when they come. I love the fact that they are sending out this year. I think there were two different new uh, police fours. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about this series. I love these series of knives where you can actually have a great collection. For instance, this of all of the Japanese knives. Just get a stretch and you pretty much have all of the knives and a great steal. And uh, so you might want to check this out. And by the way, all of these are production knives. These are not sprint runs. Remember back in the day, you would only get those special super steals on sprint runs. I'm happy that they're putting it in this format. Let me tell you what you can expect pretty soon. I'm recording this on December 8th, I believe. Either December 8th or 9th. Um... That's when I'm putting uh, 2020. Can't wait for this year to end. What a horrible year, right? Um, what I'm going to do is what I did last year. I'm going to be counting down to New Year's in several videos. And check out my Instagram. Even when I'm not up to doing a video, uh, I always post on Instagram so you can see all the new stuff. But I bought a whole lot of knives. I was quarantined. Um, so I'm going to feature all the knives bought, all the Spyticles, Chris Reeve knives. Um, man, I ventured out <laughs> with a lot of striders, a lot of hinderers. Um, so you're going to see a, a desktop full of knives, a messy, messy desk of all of the new knives from 2020. And I'm going to just... Record as many videos to get through all of them of bunches of knives. So on one video, for instance, it'll be all of the uh, Chris Reeve knives that I've done for this year. And then the next one will be all the Chris Reeve <laughs> uh, Sabenza 31s that I've done. That kind of thing. Should be a nice several videos as we count down to the new year it'll be on instagram as well as here on this channel i appreciate all of you guys you know sometimes i'm down during the holiday season and uh i'm just not able to get some videos to you guys um but i'll tell you what <laughs> thinking about putting out a video for you guys thinking about you guys uh always make me feel a lot better that and the fact that my Cleveland Browns are winning. Hello, finally. <laughs> Makes me really feel good. I really appreciate all of you. Don't forget to subscribe. You're going to want to see all these knives. There's so many knives that they almost make me sick when I put them all together to see how many knives I actually bought in one year. It literally makes me physically sick. <laughs> I'm happy I bought them, but I'm physically sick. Um... So that'll be coming up and check out my Instagram uh, at Keith Kevin Ken. Uh, subscribe, turn on notifications. That would really help me. It just would motivate me to do more videos. I appreciate all of you. Take good care of yourselves. Please take good care of yourselves. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.